On a vicious dog attack, a woman is severely injured and almost lost her arm. Today we learned animal officials put down the dog. Samantha Hessler was dog sitting the pit bull mix at her home in Carroll County when she put a leash on him and was about to take him for a walk. She said that's when the dog jumped, grabbed her arm and would not let go. Her daughter had to use a butcher knife to stab the animal in the eye before he briefly released. And then I just kept stabbing it and I just realized like, this is not doing nothing. Well, the woman finally was able to get away. She says she later learned the owner of the dog was training animals to be aggressive. Who suffered a vicious attack by a dog she was looking after is back in the hospital today. She says her wounds from that attack became infected, putting her life in danger. Channel 2's Tom Jones is live at Grady Memorial Hospital with new developments about the mother's treatment. Tom, horrible to hear. Yeah, just uh, really horrible to hear. Samantha Hessler uh, says she is miserable as she is getting IV antibiotic treatment around the clock here. She says this has turned her life upside down. Her daughter, who saved her from that bully pit bull mix, and says she knew it had the potential to be dangerous, says she didn't know it could cause all this damage. I think that's what hurts the most is like, yes, she's alive, but the recovery, like, it's going to be real hard for her. It breaks 16-year-old Kanaya's heart that her mother continues to suffer after she was viciously attacked by a bully pit bull mix. She was dog-sitting in their home. Oh, just rah, 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 boom. Kanaya saved her mother by stabbing the dog in the eye. Samantha Hessler had multiple surgeries to repair all the damage. Doctors considered amputating her arm, but she chose to try and save it. Two weeks after being released, she is back in the hospital. It's been rough. The IV antibiotics are really taking a toll on me. Hessler was readmitted after her wounds from the attack became infected. She got to the doctor early. If the infection would have been any farther along or any worse, they would have had to take my arm off. Kanaya says the dog attack is taking a toll on the family's finances. She says people don't realize this was no ordinary dog bite. People just think a dog bite is like, oh, a dog just bit me. Like, it looked like she got attacked by a shark. Hessler says doctors have no idea when she'll be able to go home. Animal control euthanized the dog. Hessler thinks the owner should face charges for training the dog to be aggressive. Animal control says the case is closed. Hessler says she's suffered too much and wants answers. I definitely do not plan on letting this go. And Hessler says she is considering legal action. Her daughter made the cheerleading team in high school, but says she will forego that activity because of the cost and because she wants to be home to take care of her mother once she is released. Go to the store on our website to see how you can contribute to a GoFundMe account that's set up. Reporting live from Grady Hospital, Tom Jones, Channel 2 Action News. Channel 2 Action News exclusive. This woman says her teenage daughter had to stab a dog to stop a vicious attack. She says otherwise she might not even be alive tonight. Channel 2's Tom Jones live in Villa Rica where the woman is now home from a month in the hospital, Tom. And Linda Samantha Hessler thought she would have to have her arm amputated after the, the dog she was caring for attacked her right here in her garage. The bully pit bull clamped on her arm and refused to let go. It didn't look good until her daughter came to her rescue. I would not be here without her. Samantha Hessler says her 16-year-old daughter, Kanaya, saved her life after this bully pit bull attacked her in her home. She is the real MVP. Like, I don't know... I just owe her everything. Kanaya says it was a frightening experience. Thank you, your parents for the die in front of you. <sighs> Hessler was dog sitting the animal last month. She says it posed no problem for three days. But on this day, out of the blue, he just grabbed, jumped and grabbed my arm. The dog violently shook no. its head, ripping its mm -mm. teeth no. deep into her no. arm. I just was like thinking like a few more times and like my arm's going to be gone. Hessler screamed in agony. Kanaya ran to get a knife and started stabbing the animal. I just kept stabbing it and I just realized like, this is not doing nothing. 
she stabbed it in the eye and it let go just enough for her to start dragging her mother away. The animal started attacking again, biting Hessler on her leg and feet. You could hear him clawing, so I was trying to like push her to like over here so we could get out. Kanaya finally got her mother to safety. Extensive surgery it is for me. Hessler spent a month in the hospital. Doctors wanted to amputate her arm. She said no. My doctor says I will never have use of it. But she still has her life, thanks to Kanaya. I asked Kanaya if she feels like a hero. I thought we was both going to get gone, but no. And Hessler is now urging people to know the history of any dog around you, know if the owner is unethical, and training the dog to be aggressive, something she says she learned this dog owner was doing. Go to the store on our website to see how you can help this family with a GoFundMe account that's set up. We're live in Carroll County in Villarica. Tom Jones, Channel 2 Action News. Just an awful situation, but I think that daughter is a hero. Yeah. What a brave mother and daughter. Tom, yeah. thank you.